What's up YouTube, Brandon here with BIOS. Today, bringing you fundamentals of iOS. Uh, this is my iPhone 5 running on 6.0.1. Uh, I have not updated to 6.0.2, but it's out there. Uh, some had, you know, battery issues, but I'm not experiencing any battery issues on mine. So um, this video is going to be all about the fundamentals of the iOS and uh, what you will find if you are a new user. And uh, this is how you will start up. Of course, this won't be the, the wallpaper that you'll get, but uh, this is how your applications will look like when you uh, start fresh from your phone. So. Just to take a gander look around, you'll see obviously your phone, your mail, your Safari, and your music down in the uh, dock. Uh, up at the top left, you'll see your messages, and then scroll over calendar and camera and whatnot. Um, for settings and stuff like that, to change your settings and to create settings such as you know add mail accounts or set up iMessage or FaceTime or whatnot, although those should be uh, um, added when you start up your phone now. Um, how you change your settings in general. So um, let's just scroll around in settings for a second here and I'll show you some things. To do a software update you see next to the general how I have a one next to there. You click on general and then you click on software update. Uh, to update you normally have to be on Wi-Fi so um, that's how you would do that on update. I'm not going to update right now. Uh, in this little bar you'll see Siri. If you didn't activate Siri um, from the startup menu, this is how you activate Siri. Uh, just turn it on and whatnot, and you can set that to your settings. Um, cellular information, such as like data roaming and all that stuff, and uh, this is the stuff that you want to use on your cellular data. Let's keep scrolling down. You can access your iTunes Wi Fi sync from here. And uh, have the accessibility um, enabled stuff like voiceover, zoom, large text. You can invert the colors of the screen, so uh, you can't obviously see that on the other side, but this it would invert it. Um, you can have it speak text, uh, LED flash for alerts, uh, such as you get a text message, your flashlight light would flash on the other side. Uh, you have guided access for learning. So if you have uh, people using your phone during the day or something like that and they're in an app, you can, um, you know, block off access to certain functions like the home button or something like that where, um, you know, things would get messed up if you had others using your phone. Uh, you have assistive touch, which is when you add it. Um, it brings a little square here and you can touch it and uh, just gives you quick access to like your device and uh, whatnot like that but um, I don't really like using it I found that it got in the way a lot although it does hide in the background when say you're typing on the keyboard uh, and you press a key that's close to it sometimes it, it, it activates it so I don't really like that uh, here you can activate triple click home uh, to do voiceover invert colors zoom or assistive touch um, a lot of functions here and a lot of people don't realize that those are there so it's good to show you guys um, another cool thing about uh, iOS 6 is they do not disturb say you are sleeping at night you just turn this on and you schedule your nighttime sleeping till the morning when you wake up and all text and whatnot will not light up your phone and it won't wake you up it won't sound off now if someone calls you and it's an emergency if they call within three minutes uh, of the last call then it'll go through and uh, you'll hear the alert and stuff like that so it's very very well thought out and uh, I like it a lot so speaking of notifications if you pull down from the top you'll notice that you have notification center uh, notification center is your um, access to all your notifications that you get whether it's emails texts tweets Facebook um, anything pretty much comes into notification center and you can access this anywhere in any app now to move stuff, say like the weather widget, say I want that under my uh, tap to tweet and tap to post, you just click the edit up here and then you click this and you drag it down under the share widget and now there you go, it's under it. And if you just want to move that back up, you just click, grab, move up and it's back up there. And uh, if you want to completely get rid of it, just turn that sucker off and it, it won't be there. So. 
one of the main questions that I get is how, you know, why is my battery depleting so much? Well, this could be for two reasons. It could, one, either be because you have a lot of things in your location services, or two, it could be because you're not closing out of your multitasking feed. So to uh, show you your notification um, or your location services first, you're going to go down, and they used to have a button for it, but now it's under privacy. So go ahead and click privacy, and here's where you find all your location services. And uh, if you see the little arrow up by my battery up in the top right, um, I am running location services on certain apps that always feed. And I'm not going to go into any of these for my personal info, but uh, that's where you will find that. And uh, as for the multitasking, you double-click the home button. And here's your multitasking pane. You can, when you have a lot of apps, you can just scroll through them. And uh, over here, you'll find more iPod controls and lock the orientation of your screen and your volume rocker, along with AirPlay if you're on your own Wi-Fi, which I am. And uh, to close out of applications and multitasking, you tap and hold, and then you hit the little red X right there, and there you are. You are out of it. So. More stuff that you can see is uh, you can set up your uh, notes, you can sync your notes with your mail and whatnot. And uh, another question that I always get is, is what's iCloud? Well, iCloud is pretty much a storage device on the internet where you could sync your passbook, your Safari bookmarks, your contacts, your mail, depending on what email you're using, uh, photo stream, documents and data. So say if I'm editing a paper, on um, pages on my phone it'll go to pages on my Mac uh, over the cloud when that documents is going over which is very helpful and useful so pretty much iCloud is an internet backup system um, you get about two gigabytes free I think I think that's the amount uh, when you start up so that's very nice and useful now going down to the Twitter and Facebook section right here uh, you can follow me on Twitter at NuclearMDX. Uh, this is where you're going to sync your Twitter and Facebook accounts uh, so that you can post right from Notification Center, which is very nice and fluid and uh, very simple to use. Just tap on them, type them, and post them, and uh, it's really simple and easy. So outside of um, that to access your multitasking from anywhere you can just double click on the home button like before just tap on it and boom you are right there again so that's always a cool feature so let's move on to passbooks which is a uh, something they brought up in iOS 6 which is where you can use cards and scan them through passbook I haven't used it that much um, but I can feel that this is going to be something big in the future um, maybe cards or something like that credit cards Another one is reminders, which you can sync your reminders from your iPad to your iPhone to your computer. And if you completed a task, it will sync over the cloud. Um, and it will show on all your other devices that you completed it, which is very useful and, and cool. Uh, here in iTunes is where you're going to obviously purchase your music, movies, TV shows, all that great stuff. And here in the App Store is clearly where your apps are going to be purchased. And uh, over here is where you're going to update your apps when you have purchased apps. Um, if I lock my phone for a second here, you'll see a camera button right here. You just slide that sucker up and you could use your camera. So that's cool. There's my laptop. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and lock that again and then slide to unlock and uh, get back into that. So that's a quick camera action right there. Uh, as well as when people give you safer phone calls, you can go to your settings and phone and um, you can set up. Uh, your reply with messages right now. These are the standard ones. I'll call you later. I'm on my way or what's up. So when you're getting a call uh, down at the um, bottom right, you'll see uh, a little arrow and you can tap that and you can have those features right there at your fingertips. So that is really cool. Another new uh, thing in iOS 6 that you will find is your maps. Maps is completely redone. Uh, some people are having issues with the maps, as in like taking them places that they don't want to go, but uh, I haven't had any issues. Up at the top right, you will see a little book. Uh, that's for your contacts. Up at the top left, you'll see an arrow. That's for your recents. Down at the bottom left, you'll see another little pointy thing like the location services. That's exactly what that is. You press that button, it'll show you where you're at. Uh, the 3D button, you can press it and it'll 
notch your maps to the side so you can get a cool 3D paint. You tap this uh, or you press up that little fold in the paper and you can have other options to drop a pin, print it, show traffic, and change the uh, style of the map, whether you want it satellite view or standard. Um, so that's really cool. And uh, let's go ahead and move an application. So I'm going to hit the App Store one and I'm going to make all my applications wiggle. And uh, for normal apps that you don't download from, um, you know, that you download from the App Store, you can delete those, but the stock apps, you can't delete the stock apps. Um, every app can be put into a folder except for Newsstand, which I think they need to change because I never use Newsstand. But to move an app, you just click and drag. And obviously, there you go, I moved an app to switch pages. You just click over on a page and it'll move over on the page so that's really cool um, to create a folder what you do is you just drag over another app you see how it created a folder and uh, you can rename it by typing here and renaming it but I'm going to keep it for the video's sake and uh, to delete the folder you just take all the applications and you pull them out of the folder and the folder is deleted now to stop the wiggling you could just press the home button once and everything will stop so that's all PG so another new cool feature um, well it's not really new but uh, it has new features to it is Siri uh, Siri was uh, given to us with the iPhone 4s in beta stage and I believe it's still in beta stage um, just learning new things as it go uh, and uh, it's got a bunch of new functions like new sports so let's go ahead and see how the Lions did this week how did the Lions do this week? The season's over for the Lions. Here is the most recent game. Man, that's kind of depressing. The season's over for the Lions. Um, but as you can see right here, it gives us a nice uh, little scoreboard and uh, shows us all the stats from the quarters and the final score. Um, to access Siri, what you do is you hold down the home button and Siri will just pop up. And uh, from this setting, you can just click on Siri again, and it even opens up applications. Like, let's open our settings app. Open settings app. And there you go. It opens. So to see other functionalities of Siri, you can just press this information button right here, and it'll tell you everything that you need to know on what Siri could, can do for you. So that's cool. So guys, uh, this is the startup of iOS, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you will, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it'll really help me out, and um, this covers pretty much the fundamentals of the iOS. And if you have any more questions, go ahead and comment on this video or send me a message in my inbox, and I will try to get back to you ASAP with uh, an answer. Or if you have another question, maybe I can make another video for you. Um, so guys, this is, uh, BIOS, uh, bringing you the fundamentals of iOS 6 on the iPhone 5. Hope you guys, uh, enjoy the video and I'll see you later. Peace.